Cyprus was our first destination after two and a half years of corona and unable to uh, get out of the country. Um, we went to the city of Papos and one of the highlights there was the zoo. One of three highlights at the zoo was the penguin exhibition. We also had the lemurs experience. I will link the full lemur experience in the description below. Oh my god, you have to see this. So much fun. It was incredible. Uh, the other highlight of the zoo was a bird show, which you will get to see really soon. And a few more interesting animals along the way. So I hope you enjoy. One thing you might notice in this segment is, beyond being excited about food, you might have noticed one single penguin in the background in one of the uh, alcoves. She apparently was brooding. She was sitting on her egg. So there's a baby penguin who's about to hatch very soon in the zoo. Isn't that exciting? I sure was excited. I know that in the wild, penguins do switch the uh, responsibility of the egg, so the male will cover the egg while the female goes and uh, eat after a long period of starvation. Um, but here in the zoo, I'm not sure what the situation is. I think he mentioned that it was the female that was covering the egg. But I'm not 100% sure. Uh, zoo situations can kind of shift the balance of the natural uh, way things are in the wild, which is one of the reasons some species can't reproduce or don't reproduce well at all in captivity. Here we are at the impressive bird show, which showed us a few different exotic birds doing neat tricks. The first round of tricks was with three amazing parrots. Wow, what a beautiful color feathers they have. To better seduce us, I guess. <laughs> the first trick was uh, the bird picking his own card among three cards, hidden cards. He always found his card among the uh, <laughs> among the three. Impressive. She did this several times. If I've mostly muted the background, it's because the sound was atrocious. I will try to get some of the bird cries that are amazing, but the sound in general was atrocious and you couldn't understand anything. The resonance in the room was so bad, it's not their fault. He got it again! Now for the next trick! They used a different bird for every set of new tricks. This one is named Eddie! as he presented himself with a board. <laughs> I think the streak shows that he can uh, deliver your mail to the mailbox, so you don't have to go to the post office. <laughs> It was a wonderful surprise when they made Eddie fly. You can see the full span of his wings and bright colors. I personally love it. I'm a very colorful person. I love colors everywhere. So, you know what? I love all the colorful birds and all colorful things. That's probably why I love toys so much. I didn't grow up to be a dull adult that likes gray and gray and versions of gray. 
This is probably the coolest trick they made the parrots do. I mean, we all love basketball. And this is parrots playing basketball. So that's absolutely awesome. Reminds me of the puppy bowl. So, parrot ball. <laughs> so fun. This is just so fun. This is a funny trick. Not quite as amazing as other, uh, not quite as amazing as some of the other tricks, but really cute. And I really thought it was gonna fall off the table. Oh my god, a little bit of a scare there. <laughs> ah. Identifying shapes may not be the most dazzling trick. But it sure show how intelligent they are. I mean, it, it takes a while before a toddler get reaches that level. So impressive. <laughs> oh, good boy! He finished. He completed his task. While they prepare the next trick, you can admire the birds' feathers and <laughs> luscious colors. I think they're awesome. Uh, I know some people own them, but uh, they're super expensive. Oh, I'm sure they're high maintenance. I'm sure this was quite difficult to train the bird uh, to do. Probably lots of treats on the way. But this is a 007 obstacle course track. <laughs> sneaky, sneaky, across the room to the goal. It's really too bad that the GoPro can't zoom. They really need to make an action camera that uh, is a bit more flexible. Maybe a quick uh, 60 FPS back to 30 and zoom while still recording. The lens is not that good, so you can't zoom with Final Cut. You lose a lot of quality. But hopefully in the future, technology is advancing. We're getting there. This is the last bit where you're gonna see the parrots. After that, we're gonna go to the owl. And so, say goodbye to the little birdie. He's pretty cool. But we gotta move on. Behold Harry Potter's owl. But it was bigger in the movie. But this is... They said that this was the one. Oh, it's in Harry Potter. It's not Harry Potter's owl. It was in Harry Potter. It's still one of the coolest owls I think I've seen. Um... Uh, they're so cute and fluffy. Well, this one is, and I'm sure all owls are. I love birdies. And lemurs. And cats. And all things fluffy. You're about to see the coolest shot I got in the whole trip, and probably in a long time. Yep, you heard it. It hit the camera. I was like, holy moly, it's going to hit. I didn't want to hurt the bird, but I wanted to take the shot, so I couldn't, I couldn't remove the camera completely. I had to take the shot, so I tried to pull it down enough for the bird to go through, but it still hit it. It was amazing! We are reaching the end of our zoo tour. Uh, there's a few things that I wanted to show you. 
Um, lots of things in cages, lots of different birds. Uh, bird Personally, I, I wish they were in more open air type of environment. I don't like so much cage and fencing. And look at it, you can barely see through the fence. Oh yeah, these are the adorable little lemurs. Oh my god, it was so fun getting them on with us. Make sure to watch that video. The link is in the description below. Anyways, I'm running back to see the giraffe. Um, the zoo is about to close, the sun is setting, and I want to see the giraffe. And I wanted to see a few things on the way, like those crazy ostrich zoos. So the yeah, the females are pursuing Huh? The females are pursuing it? Oh my, the females are chasing the male here. It's hilarious watching them run. I think they're running out of steam. <laughs> they're slowing down. Now back to hurrying up to see the giraffe before the zoo closes. I got there right on time. Now you might be wondering why I want to see the giraffe so badly. As my husband says, we have some in the zoo where we live. You know, half an hour drive, it's not bad. Uh, and the uh, story goes, we went to the zoo with my nephew and my whole family and I took my brother's camera to take really good pictures. I figured I don't need to take pictures of my phone because there's a good camera there and he'll give me a copy of everything. Nope. Second time this happened. I take pictures with his camera and I'm hoping to have a copy and he doesn't deliver. So now, nope, I'm not doing this again. I'm getting my own pictures and videos. He can do it on his own time. Oh yeah, look at them, the whole tree. All these cute teddies in the trees make me feel at home. Maybe that's why I like the giraffe. She's like me. She has a room full of fuzzies. Well, that's all for now. Hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to like and subscribe. See you next time, my cuddly friends. Bye-bye.